Hello and welcome to the new vlog. I am very, very excited because I finally get to do new content for Pixel Art Academy. Pixel Art Academy in general, not just learn mode. This was completely new content. I don't have to show you snakes anymore or copy existing pixel art. It's all done. It's in the demo. It's been released. Go on Steam if you haven't and played it. But today we are designing new content. In fact, I'm recording this at the end of my Monday Twitch stream, so I have just designed it on stream what we're gonna be working on. I've done my scribbles in my uh, notebook and uh, yeah, so coming out of this, we are doing the art element line. So yeah, this is how our story starts. You need to learn about the very basic thing that an, every artist needs to be able to do, draw lines. And that's how it starts. And we're gonna be creating a whole new tutorial. We've prepared here a new deck for drawing tutorials. This is where all of these tasks are. So without any more babbling, let's jump into it and I'll see you in a week. Well, the sprint is going great so far, actually. Uh, I have been designing stuff and not only doing the straight lines, the curved lines and the broken lines, as I thought, but I also just uh, going through the stuff thinking of, okay, what are the steps, what are the next steps where the lines are used? Well, you know, when you put a lot of lines together, you get to outlines. And then if you draw edges between, uh, when you look at the object, right, all the edges, well, that's how you create three-dimensional forms. So both shapes and forms are two more art elements of art that are gonna lead out of it. So I like how this is sort of the springboard to other elements of art. And also development-wise, things have gone quite great. As you can see here in the timeline, yeah, most of the stuff is done. We can even check out what we have so far. Yep, a new to-do just appeared. You know, if you've done the demo, uh, now a new thing comes up, elements of art, and we have here a new tutorial. Look at this beautiful thing. And we are going to start with straight lines, which are the most basic thing you could do. Uh, if you, there's multiple ways how to do it, uh, you could just drag across, that's also great. And then you can also click and shift click. And obviously shift clicking is the most uh, efficient. Next up are curves. This ones, yeah, you do need to kind of trace over and look at that. It doesn't force you yet to do pixel perfect lines. Pixel perfect are usually the ones that don't, I'm gonna show on this one. Right, pixel perfect lines would be the ones that don't have any of these sort of doubled edges. So this one would probably go away here, here, and here. So yeah, that's how this goes. There's two more levels about the broken lines, but that's enough for the mid sprint update. So yeah, now I will complete all of the tutorials and I'll see you at the end of the sprint. And the sprint is over. I'm very happy. I think everything went so quite great. And look at this. This is the new tutorial, finally. I've been waiting for this so long because the basics, the colors, the helpers, this was all done in 2018. And now finally there's new tutorials. I'm so happy about this and let's just go into it. Yes, it explains all of the ways how lines can be used in art making. We have three types of lines, the straight lines, then the curved lines. At this point, I need to fix it a little bit because I saw during playtest that people were like, oh no, but this looks ugly, uh, especially when it's, you know, even more like this. Um, yeah, it'll tell you, I'll make so that uh, the tutorial tells you, hey, don't worry about it. Uh, there, you know, you will be learning this right now. Just focus on learning the types of lines and uh, yeah, third type of lines of these three basic types is the broken line or sometimes called the angle line. Yeah, whenever it changes direction very quickly. So you get these little corners and oh yeah, look at this one. Here's a tip, by the way, intermediate uh, tip. You know, whenever you have this, whenever you're doing lines like this, um, the Bresenham algorithm is actually, you know, you see how it does the shortest, the, let's here see, the starting and ending segments are going to be a little bit shorter than the middle one. Uh, so, you know, this doesn't look, this doesn't look even. In Pixel Art Academy, you can hold command or Windows key to make it constrained. So this will become a perfect one to three diagonal. See, this is normal, how normal software does, and this is pixel perfect. 
And if you are doing this with some other software, even Aceprite, I don't think it has this support. Whenever you're doing this kind of stuff, what helps instead of going from end to end is what you can actually do is you don't go from end to end, you go one pixel next to it. This holds for three by three. So for example, if I draw these two pixels because it's a three uh, to one diagonal, I can go here now in the middle of the diagonal and then here in the middle of the final section. And then you get a perfect three by three. And this holds for others as well, like here, but you would have to go, you have to draw a start and end, but then you have to start approximately in the middle here. So something like this, and you'll be getting equal li length lines. Completely different topic. When you get to the last few exercises, you actually get to choose what you want to draw. So look at here, we have a little orange, we have an apple or we have the banana. Let's take one out and then you immediately get to see the outline of the thing you're supposed to be drawing. So a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, choosing what you want to draw. By the way, my algorithm is kind of very permissive to, you know, how far away from the line you can go. But if you do, if you go a little bit too line, it's gonna tell you, but otherwise it's very forgiving. And look at this, if you want to draw more than just one thing, you know, for those of you 100 percenters, you can drag another one out and then it just adds the next one next to the canvas. This took me quite some time to fix because I haven't had support for resizing the canvas. So hopefully some of you will enjoy this feature because yeah, it took me quite some brain power and stress over this sprint to do. So yeah, I'm not gonna spoil you the, all of the images you could be drawing, so we're gonna leave it at that. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you think about this. Either you can let me know in the comments or if you have Alpha access on Patreon or from Kickstarter, yeah, give it a go. I'll be sending out uh, builds. You probably already have them by the time this video is out. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna go on to more tutorials. All right, thank you so much for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed these development vlogs and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.